So if you're facing any problem in your work, your life or your business and you're looking for more creative outside the box ideas to solve it, this brainstorming deck of cards will help you find new connections and generate original ideas. So the guy who created this was an officer in the US Army and he was in charge of researching all known inventive thinking methods for creative problem solving. And he has also worked for the CIA to facilitate think tanks using the creative techniques inside here. So for under 20 bucks, you're gonna get this manual that explains you how to use the cards. So you need to first read the manual because it gives you specific strategies and the process you need to follow to creatively solve a problem. One strategy described in the manual is that you first need to clearly state your problem in a sentence. Then you wanna think of all the different parts or elements of your problem and lay them out. Then you wanna isolate the parts that you feel are most important. And then you wanna start drawing cards from the brainstorming deck, which you'll see have different questions to guide you through the creative process. So another really important concept you're gonna find in your manual is the scamper approach. Also, as you go through your deck of cards, you're gonna find out that the deck of cards is based on the scamper approach. So once you state your problem in a sentence and you lay out all the different parts and elements of your subject, you wanna use the scamper approach and think if you can try to substitute something for something else. You can combine something with something else. You can adapt something to it. You can modify or magnify something. You can put something into a different use that you never thought of. You can eliminate something. You can also reverse or rearrange something. So don't start using the cards before you take a look at the manual and you follow at least one of the methodologies that is mentioned in the book. You're gonna find a lot of different examples in the book. Uh, but I think there's one example that really demonstrates the importance of having a methodology and going step by step with this. So it basically asks the reader, imagine if you wanted to improve the revolving door, the, you know, the kind used in office building and department stores. So this, the regular door, right, that when you go to an office building, it's a glass door usually and you open it, right? Okay, so. How would you improve that? So the first thing you want to do is clearly define your problem and then you want to lay out all the different elements and parts of your problem. Okay, so it says here the possible attributes of the door are that it has different compartments, right? It has a doorknob, it has a glass door, it's the another attribute is that you push it manually and it creates energy to move it, right? So it's not an automatic door. You have to you have to push it, basically. And this is a great example because it basically says that when you lay out the attributes of the door, you're gonna think of your problem much differently. You're gonna find new connections. So for example, by writing down the attribute, pushing it manually creates the energy, makes you think of, you know, maybe I could harness that energy, that force, to create electricity, for example. So it is really important that you take those steps and you lay out as simply as possible all the different elements of your problem. So I'm gonna have a link in the description so you can easily find this on Amazon. Yeah, it's not an affiliate link, I'm just trying to make your life easier. Let me know in the comments what do you do when you're faced with a problem and you're looking for a creative solution. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.